Madame. Why didn't you come sooner, my share? Those poor children in the National Guard. They could have used your help. They marched all day on the Pont Neuf. Oh, you should have heard them singing as they marched on the Place Dauphine. They were very brave then. To hear them, you'd think that the king had already handed over his crown. Then what happened? As far as I know, gunfire, the booming of cannons, shouting, lots of shouting. And then, silence. None of the soldiers returned? No, not a single one. My son, my little Francois. He left this morning to join the volunteers, but he hasn't given any sign of life since. I'll try to find out what happened to him. Madame. Do you have any news of my son? Alas, I do not. Will I never see him again in this lifetime? Even the commanding officer was spared. Lafayette didn't hand over his army to the king. I should keep looking around Place Dauphine. Yellow cartridges. The conspirator's secret sign. There was most certainly a conspiracy. There's no doubt about that. But those involved shared the same fate as the rest of them. I should keep looking around Place Dauphine. Colonel Armand. He died in the attack. A headquarters at the Pont au Change. By all appearances, it's not official. Most likely an underground hiding place that can be entered from the riverbank. I'll try to track down Capitaine Lefebvre. If he and his men withdrew to the Société des Amis des Noirs, he must have gone towards the Châtelet. It would have been a desperate move for certain. I doubt any of them survived the retreat.
This gate has a lock that requires some combination of four letters. I should follow Capitan Lefebvre's footsteps. He and his men withdrew to the Société des Amis de Noir. They must have gone towards the Châtelet. I doubt they survived their retreat. There's no point trying to force it. This lock requires a four-letter password. I should follow Capitan Lefebvre's footsteps. He and his men withdrew to the Société des Amis de Noir. They must have gone towards the Châtelet. I doubt they survived their retreat. Poor souls. They died just steps from their goal. York? What does that mean? must be studied carefully. signature of the Marquis de Lafayette. So the rumors were true. The Garde Nationale wasn't formed spontaneously. All of this was carefully orchestrated. It is high time the Marquis de Lafayette explained himself.
General Lafayette. Do you need help, Aegis? You lied to me, General. Now I know all about your machinations. And what could you possibly think you know? I know that you raised the National Guard for the sole purpose of taking command of it. There was nothing spontaneous about the uprising. Do you have any evidence to support your accusations? I do. I have the manifesto. Bon sang. Why resort to this manipulation? You must understand what I have done. I did for the good of the kingdom. I wanted to stop this massacre while protecting the Queen and the Dauphin. In the name of the people, Aegis. But an actual uprising of the people would have inevitably led to disaster. Only professional soldiers could organize and lead the resistance. Who were your accomplices? My brothers in arms. The brave men of the Régiment de Saint-Ange. Veterans of the American War. Men who, at the Battle of Yorktown, brought an empire to its knees. Alas, we gravely underestimated the enemy's forces. We thought we would face an infantry supported by a handful of machines, but an entire army of automats. It was unthinkable. Some accuse you of harboring a lust for power. The circumstances were to your advantage. These aspersions are all too familiar to me. But tell me, if I wanted the crown for myself, why did I not take it when I returned from America? When I had seasoned troops at my command and the people sang my praises with one voice? No, that makes no sense. Though I readily admit that I do believe I am worthy of fulfilling an important role for the Queen after her son is crowned. Lieutenant General of the Kingdom, for example. Or even, if circumstance requires, the Regent. Voila. Now you know everything. I haven't left anything out. However, this truth, if it were made public, would play right into my enemy's hands. So I ask you not to reveal anything I've just told you and to give me the manifesto. C'est entendu, General. Here. Aegis, by doing this, you're not saving my honor. You're saving the future of the entire kingdom. Oh, and one more thing. Can you tell me where I can find my detractor? The one who told you the rumors about me? He comes and goes. One day he's here, one day he's there. It would be pointless to try to confront him. Oh, no matter. I will not let this serpent continue to vilify me. I shall get redress for these aspersions in the end. Do as you wish, General de Lafayette. Goodbye, General Lafayette. Citoyen Marat. Madame? I'm surprised to find you here. Did you follow me? Didn't you know? The Duke's allies are always impeccably informed. Some even say that we have eyes and ears everywhere. What do you want from me? To tell you the truth, I can't wait to hear what you've discovered about the matter at hand. And I was afraid you might leave me in the lurch. You can never be too cautious these days. That's why I decided it would be better for me to come to you. You were right. Lafayette was behind this purportedly popular uprising. Aha! I've got him at last! But he had no intention of handing his men over to the king. His goal was to raise an army and command the troops himself. It doesn't matter. These troops would have allowed him to crush the patriots and set himself up as a dictator. He lied to the people. He lied to the Assemblée Nationale. His time has come. All I need is for you to give me the proof of his treason. I have no proof, monsieur. You will have to be satisfied with my word. Your word? What good is your word to me? Do you think I can convince people by repeating baseless accusations? Believe me, I have tried, but without much success. No, it's useless. I must admit defeat. We will have either the King or Lafayette, one despot or another. In either case, my fate is sealed. I will soon join the Duke in exile, and I will abandon my beloved people to their doom. I have no other choice.